Hello, this is Shikeola Karimo, and I am uh, making this video to share with you um, a new project that I am getting involved in, and uh, the reason why I am getting involved in it, and the purpose of my making this video is to invite you to get involved as well. Recently, I uh, found out that uh, Marianne Williamson uh, is running for Congress and it's happening in California. She's running for the 33rd district in California. And the second, I, uh, I read that uh, my whole being really just reacted to it. I went like, oh yes, finally, uh, this consciousness of uh, somebody who is spiritually aligned, somebody who uh, is expressing and talking and teaching respect and uh, caring for each other, working with kindness and inviting us to connect with our deep human values is going to be in Congress. A consciousness a way of being that I had been studying for uh, over 25 years, we are going to be having now someone with such a caliber in Congress. It was almost of a no-brainer for me to say, I want to be involved. I want to do something about this. So that is exactly what I did. She was having a fundraiser in Los Angeles uh, on Sunday, March the 16th. So I managed to, uh, to bring myself there. And when I, when I was there, the first question that I asked when I had the opportunity was to say, well, currently I live in Washington State. So most people can say, well, you are in Washington State and this is happening in California. So what's your problem? Why are you getting involved? And so I ask, what do I tell them? And uh, it was quite interesting uh, for the rest of the day, uh, sitting uh, in, at the conference, at the fundraiser, all the, all the speakers that she has invited, it was almost as if they were giving an answer to my question, which is, why should we get involved? So I'm going to pause here and talk about uh, Marianne Williamson. Personally, I had been uh, on, on the spiritual path, and by that, what I mean by being on the spiritual path is understanding what's my relationship with this life? Why am I on this planet? What's my relationship with the other people that are sharing this, this journey with me? And Marianne Williamson, her first book that I read is A Return to Love, and this was her um, interpretation of comment on the teachings of A Course in Miracles. So many of us that are on the spiritual path know about uh, A Course in Miracles, uh, the book, and the teachings. And um, so many of us also know about Marianne Williamson. She went on and wrote many, many, many books. About 12 years ago, I uh, got the opportunity to meet her while I was still living in New York City. And this was my second time that I was meeting her. So, if you go online and, you know, Marianne Williamson, and there will be a link next to my video if you want to know more about her, uh, so that you can know about Marianne Williamson. So, um, for me, I am passionate about getting involved. It, it, never felt, it never felt like this is her thing and she should be doing it. I felt like somebody was going to be representing my voice in Congress. The way I desire politics to be uh, in Congress, that we stop the Democrats here and the Republicans here, and we don't see each other anymore. We don't see that we equally love our country. We don't see that we equally desire desire to serve our country. Maybe the way we are going about it is slightly different, but nevertheless, while we're going about that, we have to still have respect for each other. We still need to treat each other with kindness, with compassion. So listening to all the speakers that day on March the 16th, they all went ahead and shared how it's not a Marianne Williamson thing. It is us, our consciousness, our soul, that desires now for that voice to be represented in Congress. 
So, uh, from uh, one of my uh, mentor teachers, Mary, uh, Mary Morrissey, to uh, the author of The Conversations with God, um, Neil Donald Walsh, to Alanis Morissette, to the author and the founder of The Daily Love, all of them shared how we need to make it our own business, to consider that I need to get involved, being passionate about it and ask yourself what can I do so this is a place uh, from where I'm coming to you and saying yes maybe it is happening right now in California the thing is once Miss Williamson is elected as she's in Congress there were a bunch of us on the spiritual path that we're not getting involved because we did not like the scene of politics. We did not like the way people were treating each other. We did not like the level of vibration, the level of energy people were using once somebody was stepping out and wanted to be of service to either the community, the city, or the country. So in, in supporting this movement, because that's the way I see it, I see that this is a new movement that's happening. In supporting this movement, it's about my saying, you know what, I desire to connect my energy. I desire to do my part because that's the kind of world I desire to live in. One of the most beautiful things that I heard that day when I was at the fundraiser, was Mary Morrissey saying that if we take the example of uh, Martin Luther King, he had a vision. And this is what this is about for me. It's a vision. And uh, so she was sharing how we all know about Martin Luther King and, uh, and his I have a dream. And she pointed beautifully that he never said, I had a plan. I have a plan. He only said, I have a dream. And in having that dream, he shared how it was about people's quality, the way people behave, that was important to him. And we know about that. I have a, I have a dream uh, uh, of Martin Luther King. So right now, this is what this is about. It's, uh, it's a vision. It's a dream. It's a movement. And instead of just sitting and wishing people over there uh, good things, I'm saying, I am here. What can I do? And what I can do is I can make this video and say, you know, I am in Washington State, I am in Bellingham, and I had pledged while I was in California that I was going to do that. I'm going to knock at doors and I'm going to ask people to contribute because right now she needs to raise money to get herself known. Believe it or not, she's known in the spiritual field by millions of us. Yet in California, in the district where she's running, there are about 400,000 people and they don't know her compared to her uh, competitors, compared to the other people running. She is not known uh, in California. So we are raising money so that she can do uh, the advertising and get the flyers out so for people to know who she is so some people are making phone calls and this is what i'm choosing to do i'm making this video and i'm asking you to contribute they are really appreciating the five dollars donation the ten dollars donation twenty five dollars one hundred a thousand uh fifty two hundred what I have engaged myself to is to at least raise the $5,200 that uh, is the maximum that one person is allowed by law to contribute to a campaign. So, uh, so this is my pledge to you. I hope you will join me and support me that I want to get involved. I want to make myself available. I desire to make myself be part of this movement of helping to elect her to, uh, to Congress so that I can feel that my voice is being represented. Thank you so very much. And if you have any questions, please feel free to connect with me. Thank you and bye-bye.